Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're on our first road trip 2022 and we're going down to Leeds where today Club Nut is having one of his socials. We'll see you when we get there folks. Just about there guys. First time I've been here. Looks uh, reasonably busy by the looks of it. Hi. Now we just got to work our way in. Which I think is going to be this way. Yeah. Nice BMW M3 there in front of us. Busy guys. Well, I'm going to go in, get parked up, grab a coffee, see you inside. Right, guys, here we are. Coffee has been drunk or refreshed, and this is the first time I've been to the motorist diner down in Sherburn on Elmet. This is for the Hubnut Social, and I must say it's absolutely huge. There's cars everywhere, and there's a wonderful coffee inside. Got to start with this wonderful Datsun 1200, apparently Bluebird model. I don't know if this was a an actual Bluebird or it's a, a trim name on this age of uh, of Datsun. What a wonderful looking thing! Nice wheels on it as well. They look as though they could be banded. But what a lovely looking thing! Do like the gear stick. That looks absolutely wonderful. And of course, we're into a, a Nissan. And my chariot of choice for today, the 96 SN95 Mustang. Nissan Micra. V6 Rover. And of course you can't go to any show these days without some form of Land Rover putting an appearance in. I must say the choice of cars here today is absolutely amazing. I think there's something for everybody here today. A couple of MX-5s. Park next to a Ram 1500 which looks absolutely gorgeous. Not that I'm biased at all. It's a land crab. Two C V, no doubt that'll cheer Mr. Hubnut up if he's uh, had a wander around the cars and seen that. Just walking down the line here, Fiat Panda there. Gorgeous T V on. Modern Lexus. And of course the venerable Muggy Miner, Rover, it's a lovely day down here today folks, absolutely gorgeous, the sun came out on the way down in the car, Mercedes Estate, lovely Nissan there. Nissan Z with twin roof, uh, T roofs, T top rather. That fair lady, twin turbo as well. Definitely one worth playing with. Ford Escort. I must say, for a 1984 car, it's in very good condition. 
golf discovery there's an old cavalier look how clean that is and of course Fiat Arbor 500 flavour I've just spotted in the corner there Mark II Cavalier Hatch LXI you don't see many of them on the roads anymore these days I do hope the sound's coming through alright on the microphone Grand Cherokee Jeep the Peugeot convertible and I've just spotted Austin Allegro Van den Plas or is it Van den Plas? Next to that is a little MGB convertible or they're just MG convertibles Gorgeous Mercedes 280 CE pillarless windows as well Well, it has to be a Ford Focus RS BMW 3 Series Touring That's very nice This Fox Foxhall Nova Saloon Getting a bit of essential maintenance done on that one there see many in that condition. When did you last see one of those? Nice Jag. MGB GT with bubble launchers. It's just cars and people forevermore. There's something for everybody here folks, there really is. Horse just coming in. Bentley Coupe. Another Porsche and a Ferrari. Peugeot 205. 16 valves. Next to a Triumph GT6, or is it a Spitfire? I think it's a Spitfire. Triumph Spitfire. Hopefully, this will come out in the bright sunlight. Lovely clean engine bit. Sunbeam. That is absolutely immaculate. I see it does look as though it could have been driven off the forecourt yesterday. Absolutely immaculate. I've noticed the uh, updated high level brake light in the rear window. I'll see something that is very useful to have these days, especially if you're driving something as nice as that in modern day traffic. Oh, there's a lovely Triumph Herald convertible just pulling in, complete with bug in the back. Subaru Legacy. I do like those. Especially if it's a 3 litre. Unfortunately it doesn't say anywhere on the vehicle whether it's a 2.5 or a 3. You can only hope it's a 3. Audi TT. Another MX-5. Evo. Yeah, I know.
Porsche next to a Honda Honda NSX absolutely lovely inside the workshops here I've just spotted a very early Ford Transit all liveried up with motorist information that's absolutely wonderful moving further under the car park <coughs> Volkswagen Scirocco Mercedes W123 BMW Z3 I think it is and then of course we've got Steph from iDriver Classics Proton parked up here in the corner next to MG Convertible and yet another Vauxhall Nova hatchback this time though not saloon that has to be some kind of record folks two Vauxhall Novas in one event two Citroen Saxos both original condition though not modified how unusual is that? I've just found this 3 Series BMW Alpina I don't know if that's a show plate or not but it looks like German registration CI 2.3 have to assume that that's a genuine Alpine model lovely little mini and of course this gorgeous Honda Prelude is it Prelude? Prelude? It's another exceptionally clean looking car people absolutely gorgeous Look at this. 1984-1983 Talbot pickup. Sinker front end. And of course it's got the best wheels in the world. And then this couple, quite elderly. Uh, they decided to uh, downsize to a small time, so they wouldn't have parking, but it, it goes three, 600 as well. Yeah. And see, those wheels are amazing. Colour-coated slots as well. And they are genuine wolf race. Oh my god, you can't beat a set of wolf race. Not that I'm biased at all. I found an absolutely gorgeous 50 Chevy pickup. God, that looks so nice. Thrift Master. Steak bed as well. This is so nice in the back. I'm presuming that's its original American registration bolted on there. Absolutely gorgeous interior. Lovely vintage looking gauges. Bench seat. Oh, I'm guessing that's got a V8 in it. I could be totally wrong though, and there's no one here to ask, unfortunately. And parked next to that was what might appear to be. A Ford Crown Victoria, but it's not. On closer inspection, it's actually a Mercury Marauder. Badge is a Grand Marcus GS or a Grand Marquis GS. So it may be a Marquis rather than a Marauder. But 
it's also absolutely gorgeous. Hey guys, I just want to interrupt the video just there. In the previous shot, there was a Mercury Marquis. Now, that car gave me a surprising connection when I was at uh, Hope Not Social. Uh, it turns out that the lady that owns the Mercury Marquis did previously own a Chevy pickup truck, which she bought from a very nice guy by the name of Dennis over in the Netherlands who runs moparmania.nl. It's also the same website or the same dealership that I bought this lovely 1975 Ford Ranchero from. Now, surprisingly, um, when I was talking to Marie, not only did she recognise me, but she also recognised this particular truck that I'm sitting in, the Ranchero. Now, uh, it came on the wagon from the Netherlands directly to my house back on June the 26th of 2020. In that photo, there's a Chevy pickup underneath the Ranchero. That particular Chevy pickup is the one that Marie had bought from Dennis over in the Netherlands. So the truck, her truck, made its journey all the way to my house up here in Northumberland before going back down to Marie's house. So Marie, if you're watching this, it was great to meet you and hopefully I'll bump into you at the Mopar Nats at Santa Pod at the end of July. And now, back to the video. The Rover SD1. More BMW 5 Series. And where else but a hub not social would you find a Reliant three-wheeler parked next to a BMW 5 Series? Here we go, the Wolseley. Looks to be all original. Next to this lovely Ford hot rod. Another lovely one. Absolutely tiny wing mirrors and door mirrors. Lovely interior as you can see in there though. Virgil 309 GTI. There's another 2CV. Appears to be nicknamed WYSIWYG. And it's seen some action by the looks of it. It's, got, it's seen some life. I'm impressed by the side exhaust pipes. They must be the smallest side exhaust pipes I've ever seen. We have an Austin Maxi. Not many of them left in that condition now, folks. Austin 7, I think that is. Deal with it is with an insane amount of paint modifications under the bonnet. This is all matches. And of course, if you can make out for the sunlight, there's uh, Chazelle. It's the Hubnut's personal car. One of the Hubnut's personal cars. Getting into an area that I really like to see. Gorgeous Chevy Impala. Look at the engine on that.
I must say for the amount that prices are on petrol these days. I feel these pain for having to put up with the prices and drive to drive something as gorgeous as this. Can't take it with you. Might as well enjoy it. Amazingly long Jimmy Fury station wagon. Complete with a full complement of goodies on the roof rack or between the roof bars. Who is this little girl who's standing in the doorway who looks mmm neat? Dashboard folks on that. Or Royal Crown Coma. Of course, some lovely patina across the side and the rear. Still complete with the original garage sales moniker. Footrests on the back bumper, no doubt, so you can reach the roof panel or the roof rails to get your luggage down. B Reg Mercury Montclair. The length of these cars, folks. Just so supremely long and huge. So comfortable. What a gorgeous car, folks. And then, of course, there's a Chevy C10. These days, Chevy C10s are everywhere. But this is a lovely example. Shop, apparently this one uh, originated from or has been decorated as modern fuel gauges on the dashboard lovely metallic steering wheel and of course full bench seat and it's a bit of decoration folks of old metal pedal cars Very young child's trike. Obviously belongs to a little girl, I would have thought, with the colour it's in. Plastic cover over the spokes on the wheels. Right? And that's that Chevy T210 starting up. It does sound like it's got a supercharger in it. Wondering if he's about to leave. Yeah, guys, such a huge selection. But there's one, one that's just pulled in. I'm just heading towards now. Get to see it in a minute. It's a car I've been looking for. I used to have one. I had one back when I was a teenager. Now, I've just noticed it's not actually what I thought it was. There it is. Now, when it first came in, I did make a common mistake from a distance of thinking it was a Mark 314er, but it's actually not. It's a Ford Taurus, or Ford Taurus. Very Mark III Cortina-esque. It is also a GXL. It's absolutely a lovely little thing. Folks. 
just noticed the BMW 3 Series Bauer Convertible. This is a nice clean one. 320. The owner there busy getting interviewed about it. What a lovely looking car. I don't want to get too close because obviously you're busy getting interviewed. But it is in lovely condition. You've seen this gorgeous late 60s Mustang from the guy. Sounds nice too. And it's stick shift. This is a lot of fun to drive. You never found this? Hiding away in the corner. I wonder if there's any potential there. A little bit worse for wear, but a little bit rusty. Potential project there for somebody. Well, it's been a wonderful day. Certainly enjoyed it. Loads of cars here all the way down from home to here and less than half a tank well then get home on the same as well that's it then guys time to head home and here we are back home been a great day got all the way there and back on literally just under three quarters of a tank of petrol.